Hello, welcome back to another Board with Paint, Batman the Animated Series Shadow of the Bat painting tutorial. Today we'll be painting the mask of the phantasm, and the rest of the phantasm. Once again we'll be trying to mimic the animated look from the cartoon series, so let's jump right in. We'll begin by painting the phantasm's bodysuit in pure black. If you refer back to the card artwork, you'll notice there are some light colored lines that are defining the different contours of the body. I've decided to leave them out when painting this figure because if you look at it from the movie, the body is just a complete black void. I think that's a lot better and more representative of what we saw on screen. Next, we'll fill in the eyes with some off-white. And now we'll actually paint the mask of the Phantasm with Skaven Blight Dinge. We'll use this to cut in around the eyes and really give them the right shape. I remember seeing the movie Mask of the Phantasm in the movie theater when it came out, and I thought this was one of the coolest Batman villains I had ever seen. So I'm super excited to have the opportunity to paint this miniature for you. Let me know down in the comments what you think of the Phantasm. Next we'll paint the inner part of the Phantasm's cloak by mixing some rust gray and a little bit of decay black to darken it. This will only be applied to the underside of the cloak. Before moving on to the rest of the cloak, I'm filling in the inside of the hood with pure black. This will help give definition to the area of the mask and to make it pop out a little bit. Now we'll paint the rest of the cloak using pure rust gray. This paints a little on the thin side, so you may need two or more coats to get good coverage.
This color will also be used to paint the boots and the glove. Now we'll use Fenrisian Gray and paint the scythe. If you've watched any of the previous episodes in this series, you'll know that I often forego any kind of highlighting on these miniatures in order to keep with the animated cell style. But since there's not a lot of color variation on Phantasm, I wanted to add a little bit more visual interest. So I'm going to use the card artwork as a guide and apply a sort of non-metallic metal look to it. To do this, I'm lightening the Fenrisian Gray with some of the off-white. Now I'll bring up the card artwork and show you the shapes that I'm trying to mimic on the scythe. Here I'm trying to mimic that shape on the top of the weapon. I'm starting by just drawing the outline of it and then filling it in afterwards. The upper blade appears to completely be done in the lighter color. And I'm just doing the exact same thing on the other side. Now it looks like we have the light color going about halfway down on the two bands that are around the arm. Moving on to the blade, there's this sort of distorted triangular shape at the top of the blade. I'm trying my best to match the shape from the artwork, but the important thing is that you have some of the darker gray surrounding the entire shape, so it doesn't kind of blend into the other colors that we did in the light earlier. Once we're happy with that, we'll paint the light color along the edge of the blade at the bottom, and we'll follow the shape of the weapon all the way up. Here's one side done. Now I'm just repeating that process on the opposite side. Here I'm just outlining the bands on the weapon with the Fenrisian Gray. And 
and finally, like all of the other miniatures in this series, we'll finish up with some dark lining, starting with the face. We'll use this to fill in the grill that serves for the teeth of the mask. We'll go around the eyes and the cheekbones and define the different features of the face. For the dark lining, I like to use a combination of pure black and flow enhancer. This helps to draw the lines a little more thinly and allows the paint to flow more cleanly off the brush. I go into a little more detail about the mixture in some of my previous videos. I'll put a link up above. Now we'll just go into all the recesses on the cloak and draw a dark line where you would typically see a shadow. We also add dark lining between any adjacent elements of the miniature, like here I'm doing on the cape and the glove, which are the same color, but the dark line going between them will differentiate them. Here I'm carefully picking out the gaps between all the fingers. Moving down to the boots, we're going to add a dark line in between these couple of fabric folds here. Returning to the scythe, we'll dark line between the separation of the arm and scythe, between the different bands on the scythe, and the different parts of the blade. I'm lining here around the base of the upper blade. of the lower blade. And now to further define that edge, I'm going to carefully draw a dark line between the darker gray and the lighter gray along the edge of the blade. And here I'm using the side of the brush to apply an edge highlight along the upper part of the blade. And of course, we'll do the same thing on both sides. Finally, we'll draw a circle around each of the rivets on the side of the weapon. And that's pretty much it for the miniature. Now we'll move on to painting the base. And as I did in the previous videos, we'll paint according to the faction that the character is a part of. Since the Phantasm is unaffiliated, she's going to get a black-gray base. Yes, spoiler alert, it's a she. And the last thing we do is paint the edge of the base in pure black.
and there we have the Phantasm. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and subscribe to my channel, which will support me making more videos like this in the future. I'm extremely appreciative and humbled that I've recently reached 350 subscribers. So if you're one of those, thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you're interested in seeing previews or getting some news of what I'm working on or what might be coming next, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook under Board With Paint. So until next time, remember... Your angel of death awaits. Oh, and of course, happy painting.